gentle viewers, this is Avindian welcoming you to a new episode of Out of the Park Baseball 18. It's a new season. We have the lowest payroll in the major leagues. But, to be fair, I haven't exactly done much to earn, uh, to earn a bigger payroll. So, this is going to be an important season for us, and I'm hoping we can make it happen. Um, we spent the offseason retooling our rotation. And we got, we have Phil Brain back. That's going to help a good bit. We got Sergio Matos, Jorge Rivera, and Mike Carlin. We improved the bullpen slightly through the addition of Eric. No, actually, we've had Eric Vaughn for a while. He just hasn't had a chance to prove himself yet. Um... So we have a lot of young relievers that are going to need some time to really come into their own, but I think we're going to continually have one of the better bullpens. We also upgraded by calling up Arturo Resendiz because he just had an outstanding spring training. And even though he hasn't had a lot of AAA experience, I can't genuinely see a reason not to let this not to let him play. Now, he does have a pretty big hole in his swing, but we're going to let him play every day. And that's also because we don't have a lot of right-handed bats right now. We did reacquire our old friend Pedro L. Gonzalez from two seasons ago, and he's going to be catching for us again this season and, and hopefully help our young pitchers develop. Speaking of developing, say hello to Luis Meza, who's going to really help us with Phil Brain, which is good. And we could maybe use some other power pitchers, but still, we're in pretty good shape. Now, we do have a slight problem that this is our final season on this contract, and I'm really hoping we'll make a splash this season and really earn ourselves a new season's contract. Uh, I don't get re-signed. You don't get re-signed, Clay Condry. That's just the way it is. Let us, without any further ado, begin the season. Uh, oh, who needs to be added to the 40-man? Ken Gamino, right. Done. There we go. Whoopsie. Active career pitching leaders, leader at all time in FIP is Rodolfo Romero. Let's go. And we lost our first game. But we won our second and our third. A 500 season would show some very serious promise. Didn't Juan Contreras play for me for a season? He did. He actually had a very nice bounce back campaign with Texas. Hmm. Good for him. We have Reggie. It wouldn't have worked out. Reggie is, is the best. A trade proposal. We're going to lease him for a day. Who cares? No. Absolutely not. I'm just not interested in him. That's a weird trade offer. Why would you be offering me him? What is Singer just complete? Singer's better than he is. I'm not sure where you're going with that, mate. Uh, six days for Gamino. This is not a great start for him to his career. So Gamino is just a lefty specialist if you haven't seen last season. We're losing a lot of games by one run. Two weeks for Karyos, but it is minimal effect. Hmm. We are 4-14 four off to another bad start. Now we've got an awesome bullpen, an acceptable starting rotation, and now we're not hitting. Except for Vargas. That can't last. We have too much offensive talent to be this bad. Actually, our bullpen's really, really good this season. So that's a positive. It's something we can work with. 
man, these these early slumps are just so brutal. A personal message. Uh, we don't know when he'll be back. That's okay, I guess. Yeah, we're the worst team in the league. Damn. This is awful. I mean, come on, guys. Reggie was really, really good last season. Warren was really, really good last season. Actually, he's actually exactly as good this season as he was last season. Um, Resendiz is off to a decent start, but not a brilliant one. Hopefully that'll start turning around. This team has too much offensive talent to be mired in the doldrums like this. And Matos and Rivera are having awful seasons. Now, we will have the number one draft pick this season, I do believe, which is cool. Oh, it doesn't say here. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> Looting that said get on a mega winning streak, we used to get on a not losing streak. I would settle for like four or five wins in a row. There we go. We're heating up a little bit. And no one of my. Ooh. Here goes 433. Vargas has tossed this team on his back, and he is saying, We are not this bad. I don't know if he's right. Let's keep it going. And we're back in last place again. So what is with Ken Gamino? I feel bad for the kid. This is his Major League debut season. A week out for Rivera. I'm not going to take him out. Yeah, Dixon will never be more than a reliever. We just don't have much in terms of pitching talent anywhere near the top of the of the minors. We've got a lot of interesting talent deeper in the draft. I can't believe we have three rookie league teams. That seems excessive to me. Yeah, always sort by potential. That way I can keep it on the players. That are most important to our success. We could still use some some pitching help. I'm gonna flip Dan Dixon and see if I can turn him into a starter. I'll even take on a little bit of salary for a starter if I can get it. And I get no legitimate offers. I can't say I'm that surprised. Joe Grimm is pretty terrible. Norm Charnock is a borderline starter. I am willing to take a chance on him. I am very willing to take a chance on him. <coughs> if I make you a starting pitcher... Oh, you lose a lot of your stuff, don't you? At the very least, you're a lefty, and which means I could put you in the bullpen. Let's send you to AAA for now. I will put you on the 40-man, but let's send you to AAA just for now. I want you to get some innings starting and see if you can make something of yourself there. Jorge Rivera doesn't want to play for us anymore. What a dick. 
Dude, you'd be playing for a winner if you would freaking win every now and again. Um, I could try to trade him. I just don't know what kind of return I'd get. Let's hold on to him for right now, because he has no trade value. Um, if he heats up a bit over the next couple of weeks, maybe we can trade him and get some quality out of it. Juan Vargas is on a 20-game hitting streak. That's a big reason, I bet, why we've kind of dragged ourselves out of the doldrums and to the semi-close to 500 mark. At the end of this month, we'll take a good hard look at the team and see what we can do to make some changes, if there is any changes we can make. May not be anything. Player development. Andrade's already losing velocity. That's a really bad sign. Uh, Carlin improved a bit. Vaughn got a bit worse. Warren is gaining a bit more power. Mike Avenel got better. Juan Ochoa got better. Luis Acevedo got a tiny bit better. Ken Padilla is actually gaining velocity. There's some stuff in here that's that's interesting to see, but it's not going to make the biggest difference in the world. Vargas is number one at shortstop. Reggie is number two at first. And no pitchers. I honestly can't sit here, look you dead in the eye, and say, yeah, he probably doesn't deserve it. Vargas got Hitter of the Month. And Barrera got Hitter of the Month for the rookies. Let's take a brief look at the team and see what we're looking at here. Aw, his hitting streak ended. Lame. So lame. Um, right. Up to 8th and run scored... The defense looks bad. Why does the defense look bad? Ooh. Gunner and Silva don't look amazing, especially Silva. Oof. A oh, Reggie started hitting again. Karyas is hitting okay. Resendi's actually cooled off a bit, but still looks pretty decent. Um. Warren is not working out as our second place hitter. Okay, we have two problems. One is, is really easy to fix. The other one might take a bit more doing. Uh, easy problem. Let's find out who is playing badly at defense. It's Karyos. And he's actually a pretty good outfielder. Hmm. He's having a nice offense, offensive season, but... Hmm. Um, the lineup solution, I think, is probably putting in Resendiz. Um, let me see, by the way, exactly how bad are your splits this season. Uh, versus lefties... You're actually really good against righties. You're not so good against lefties. Um, shit. How's your defense? Your, your defense is pretty decent. Um, Warren at least is playing a really good third base. Yeah, we're actually going to go ahead and bump Resendiz up and Warren down against right-handed pitching. This should help, I think. I hope. <clears throat> you really need, like, a couple of right-handed bats. Parientos has been helpful. He's just not that brilliant.
And yeah, Ben Webb is hitting for power, but not for much else. We really need a right-handed bat of some kind. Are there any interesting... Let's check the waiver wire first, and let's check the free agent market. Okay, I want... Let's make a filter. Bats is right. Or I'd also take a switch hitter. Or... Bats is switch. And... I want someone who can hit for decent contact. We'll say 55. I think that's a good start. Not one of them is... Oh, I take that back. One of them is an outfielder. Mike Knoop is a good hitter. I just don't have a place for him, and he can't play the outfield. So. I don't need a pinch. I don't need a part platoon partner for Reggie. Let's look at all outfielders. This leaves us with two options. Beck and Goodwin. Now, what do you look like in terms of your abilities? Beck wouldn't be a terrible choice. What about Goodwin? They're both about the same. I can't imagine either one of them would cost very much. I wouldn't mind bringing him in as like a pinch hitter platoon partner. But I think we'll wait. Go to the first year player. I didn't look at hitting or pitching. I'm sorry. I promised I would, and then I didn't. I just got fired. Oh, dang. I didn't think I would get fired. Um, I could go back to Cleveland. I could play for Los Angeles. I could play for the Giants. I don't know what to do right now. I mean, oh look, there'd be a, there'd been a couple of points in which I was thinking to myself, maybe I want a different kind of challenge. But I didn't think it would happen on draft day when I was going to get the number one overall pick. Um. Well. So there's a couple of options, and I think I'll put up a Twitter poll. One, we can continue playing on in this version of baseball. And I have to admit, coming back to the Indians does feel kind of tempting. Except for the fact that I don't think they're a whole lot better off than we were. Most of the players used to have are probably gone by now. Oh yeah, I just gave them Dan Dixon, didn't I? Uh -huh. Um, I could play for a big market team, the Los Angeles Angels, and try to turn them around. Oh, they made the playoffs just two seasons ago. It'd be four years to turn around their club. I could play for the Giants. The Giants are leading their division right now. 
I don't think I'd bother playing for the Diamondbacks. I'm really sad right now. I think I'm broken right now. You're not going to find anyone as good as me. Or better than me. You're going to make Clay Conjure the general manager. Really? Okay. Um, so... <clears throat> Here are going to be the options. Option one, play as the Indians. We can go back to the Indians, see where that leads us. Option two, play as the Angels. Use the fact that we're going to have a nice big payroll, make some smart spending decisions, and take them back to the promised land. Option three, play a historical franchise, which would really open some things up for us, I think. Or play some NPB and reboot, like go back to 2016. So it's 2016. I didn't even add the Negro Leagues on there, but I think Twitter only let me have four pool options. Um, I don't want to go back to Cleveland yet. I wanted to prove I could make it somewhere outside of Cleveland, and I haven't done that so far. So, right, we're going to make it either L.A., the Angels, uh, NPB in 2016, or 2017, sorry, Negro Leagues, or Historical. If we play Historical, um, I've played through the 19th century, and it's super easy to win the 19th century. Like, there's no effort involved, because all you need is a good pitcher, one pitcher, and you'll win the league more years than not. So I would probably start right after the founding of the American League in 1904. Um, but I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say. So I'm going to go ahead and put up a Twitter poll um, shortly after I post this video. I'm going to allow comments on the video, as I always do. And, and you guys can share some thoughts here. A couple people mentioned the A's at one point. The A's aren't offering me a job right now. So... Me, personally, I'm kind of digging the idea of playing with a historical team. But the Negro Leagues were a major addition this season, and I'd like to see how that might work out for us. So, comment down below. Let me know what you think. This is not how I expected this particular series to end. But we'll keep on with uh, out-of-the-park baseball. And um, what we'll probably do is maybe take a week off, let you guys vote, let you guys comment, let you guys get caught up. Um, and then I'll make a decision a week from today, which as I'm recording this, sh this should be the Thursday episode. So it's been an interesting series. Out of the Park Baseball 18 will stay on the channel in one faction or another. So don't worry your heads about that. People like watching it. I love playing it. Um, and so that will continue. But until that time, Please remember to like, subscribe, comment down below, especially to let me know what your vote would be for. And until next time, this has been Avindian, and I bid you good day.